So, what symptoms do you expect in your patient with MS? What should happen? In order to understand this, let's draw the brain, okay? This is the brain and this is your tentorium and I'm going to draw the cerebellum here. This is your thalamus, midbrain, pons, medulla oblongata and your spinal cord. Now, classically, the wording goes, whenever somebody's got MS, it likes to affect four areas. What are the four areas that the MS likes to attack? You get attack of periventricular region, okay? Periventricular region will get attacked. Apart from that, you will also get juxtacortical. Juxtacortical as well as cortical, right? Then, you're also going to get infratentorial, infratentorial, which is going to be your brainstem. And lastly, it's going to affect your spinal cord. So those are the four important areas that you need to know that the MS is going to destroy. Periventricular, juxtacortical, infratentorial, essentially saying brainstem, and spinal cord. So normally, you need to understand what kind of tracks we have that controls the body, right? Now, when it comes to your motor function, what track controls your motor function? It is going to be your corticospinal tract. Now, we need to know about two important tracks that controls your different sensations. What are the two tracks that we need to know about? You got spinothalamic, very good. So, spinothalamic tract basically controls what? Pain and temperature. 